shoot a lot of wood ducks right here around Tulsa, Oklahoma. Right above me is a, is a kudu. Took it in Africa in 2001. This one weighed 53 pounds. I've caught others up to 60 pounds. This gun became very popular with Teddy Roosevelt. This big boy I shot on a ranch in South Dakota. Hunters are the good guys. Legal hunting is the single greatest, best wildlife management tool ever. It's the money that hunters and fishermen pay for their hunting and fishing licenses that fund all of the wildlife conservation management. And it's the poaching that is destroying the wildlife. It, it's, not, it's not hunters. If you hunt, if, could you raise your hand? Of course we would. In 1990, Bob Hawkins, Ken Greenwood, and myself, we, we pulled away from wildlife conservation group known as Ducks Unlimited and named it Nature Works. We've had an art show every year, and we bring in not just regional artists, but we bring in artists from all over the world. So I've always loved animals. I, I, I can't imagine my life without wildlife in it. It's been a wonderful show, and I'm really honored to be able to be part of it. You either do more drawing over the top to darken the color, or you take away using the fiberglass brush. And it's brand new, and nobody else does it yet. <laughs> In an effort to even further improve and make our art show better, we decided to start a monuments program. In 1994, we erected our first larger-than-life, realistic wildlife bronze monument. Since then, we have put up one every year and honored some individual or group. These are all American critters. With this, NatureWork will begin a collection of avian sculptures in the 41st Street Quick Trip Plaza of River Parks titled Birds of the Arkansas River. The latest monument on the river is going to be 14-foot flying pelican. Most people don't know that they're the second largest bird in North America. Well, in a year in advance of the, of the actual monument dedication, we, we have a competition. We invite all the uh, sculptors and artists that we know who come to our art show to provide a study piece called the maquette of their idea of how a certain animal that we've selected is to be presented. And then based on that judging and all that, we commission with that artist for them to produce the actual monumental piece. The money we raise for erecting the, the monuments is strictly for erecting monuments. And the whole intent was for our monuments to bring more awareness to our art show. The money from the art show, and if we sell a half a million dollars and we get 30%, at the end of the day, at the end of the year, we usually are able to gather together fifty to $90,000, and that money then all goes to wildlife conservation projects. The effort is not only to beautify Tulsa and to honor people that have made a difference in wildlife conservation in Oklahoma, but the primary reason is education, to make one think that there are other native Oklahomans other than people.